Hi guys, this is Joshua from Motival Online Instructors. Today I'm going to be working with the 1998 Harvard MIT Math Tournament for question number five for the calculus part. Uh, the question says, evaluate the limit when x goes to 1 from x to the power x divided by sine of 1 minus x. Okay, so let's just plug in the numbers. And what do we get? Well, we get 1 to the power what? 1 over sine of 1 minus 1 is what? Sine of 0. And sine of 0 is what? 0. So this is just 1 to infinity, right? This is in one of the indeterminate forms, 1 uh, over infinity. So this limit has to be manipulated to be able to calculate. Now let's erase that. Now, if we're working with an exponent, my first thought is to use exponentials. So let's rewrite this as the limit of e to the power logarithm of x to the power x over sine of x, 1 minus x. And the advantage of having it like this is that this power, by properties of logarithm, can be pulled in front. So in reality, this becomes the limit when x goes to 1 of e to, well, let's pull the exponent to the front. We got x over sine of 1 minus x times the logarithm of x. Now, this limit can be inputted into the, exp into the exponent. So in reality, we just have to calculate the limit when get x goes to 1 of x log of x over sine of 1 minus x. But again, if we input 1, log of 1 is 0, so we got 0. Sine of 0 is 0, so we got 0 again. And this is also an undeterminate form. So what can we do from here? Well, we're going to use what's called L'Hopital's rule. It says that the limit when x goes to c of f of x divided by g of x is equal to the limit as x goes to c as f prime of x over g prime of x. So that means I have to take derivatives. So what is the derivative of the top? It's right this. The derivative of x log of x is, well, it's a multiplication. We have to use the product rule. So it's x times the derivative of log of x, which is 1 over x plus log of x times the derivative of x, which is 1. Divided, well, what is the derivative of sine of 1 minus x? Well, the derivative of sine is positive cosine. And the derivative of the inside by chain rule is just minus 1. So in reality, what we have is the limit when x goes to 1 of x times 1 over x is 1 plus log of x over minus cosine of 1 minus x. Now, let's plug in 1. 1 plus log of 1 is 0, so we have 1 in the top, divided by cosine of 1 minus 1 is 0, cosine of 1 is 1. Cosine of 0 is 1, so we have minus 1. Now, 1 over minus 1 is just equal to minus 1. But this is the limit of the exponential, right, of this part. So in reality, this becomes e to the minus 1, which is 1 over e. And that's our answer, guys. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe us at Multivow 
or uh, go to our website, www.motivout.com. Thank you.